Hello everybody, I'm, today I'm going to show you how to merge armatures with meshes or franking stunning as some people call it. So I have my two models here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so my fin's head is on my Meliodas. We never want to touch our bones because if we change our bones position sometimes it will fail in cat's tool. So I select fin's body right now. I'm just going to only select the lower body. So, we select that. And we delete that. Next. Now we try to remove Meliodas' head. So what we're going to do is... We're going to hide our mesh. In that case, we can see our Meliodas. You can do loose tool or loose pieces if you really want. Either will work fine. So, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and use Cat's tool and make it so it's loose pieces. There. Inside our armatures. You can also hit H to hide objects. I'm going to use B to select. I'm just going to rejoin that. And then delete. And we repeat the process. Most models won't be as tedious as this one. This one just happened to have a lot of hair bones. So making sure that none of our bones are moved, we want to go ahead and now attempt to scale Finn's head to match Meliodas' body. There we go. So now what we do is, now that we have everything that we want, we go over here to custom model creation. So what we're gonna do is, I usually merge all bones and apply transformations. So I'm going to confirm that we have our correct body. So our base, should be our Meliodas, which unfortunately that one is not Meliodas. And this one is Meliodas. So we switch these. Next, we can click Merge Armatures. Sometimes it does produce some extra bones because white paint does get carried over. So see for there, for example. That's fine. We can take these bones and we can delete them. We gotta double check that everything's still white painted to the head, which it is, which is good. Okay. So. Everything looks fine, and that's how you Frankenstein a model. Hope you all enjoyed the video.